All right, guys, I'm back with another video. Um, I want to talk about ranked play in Apex. It's a little bit different than most ranked plays that I've ever played in Call of Duty or any other Battle Royales. And what um, is my biggest complaint so far is, once again, the teammates. But outside the teammates, it's more along the lines of how slow everybody plays. Um... What really sucks is people are so worried about placement that uh, for there are uh, rep points that, that just nobody moves. Um, I had a, well, I'm going to say, a, I think it was final circle number five. I think I had a, a circle number five and there were still eight squads left. People just play so slow that for somebody who plays so aggressive in this game like i do i'm constantly like pushing people for kills because you know you, you get 10 points per kill and if you get at least three kills um then you're you're pretty golden and i'm in platinum so it costs me 36 rep per match and if i get at least three kills then i know i only get minus six so i do my best to push everybody that i see when it's appropriate to get the kills so i don't have to worry about um my placement for all of my rep points people they, they literally just pick a building and they literally just sit there and wait um not engaging any squads just so they can get rep and it just makes the final um, circles, just a literally a clusterfuck of people, causing you your squad to split up, and it's also causing everybody to have to sweat their motherfucking balls off in order to uh, get back the rep points or to, to even win the game. So I find myself not struggling to kill people. I find myself struggling to find them because, like I said, they, they everybody just camps in a building. It, it's it's awful. You know, I, I wish they did the following things that I'm going to talk about. I think these are a few things that they can do to um, cause people to move around and engage a little bit more, causing um, the squads to go down a little bit faster. And number one is quicker circles. Okay, enough with these two to two and a half minute circles causing people to just camp even more. Um, so please, shorter circles... Um, I, I guess another way you could do it is smaller circles. So make this the first one just a little bit smaller, um, or have final circles or inner circles round three and above just more in open spots other than these, uh, buildings. So, cause one of the worst ones is fragment East fragment West, um, uh, da, 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 da. train yards another one i i've i've gotten quite a bit of engagements in train yard um that's and train yards really difficult to get in and out of uh squads and the reason is because there's no buildings it's constantly those little um oh wait, i don't even know what to even call them but you can zip line up and down i mean it's a good place to hold down um against a few squads but like when you have eight or um nine squads or even like seven and people just tend to want to camp next to each other it's it's literally it comes down to who can out camp the person the best in the building that they're given and it's that shows no skill when it comes to um ranked playing apex legends so people who are in platinum are not good enough to actually be in platinum in my opinion you find few and far between people who are actually have the skill level to be in platinum diamond and sometimes even the higher gold levels okay i breeze through gold really easily and the reason i breeze through gold is because the squads were more interactive uh the gunfights were more um they 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 flow the flow is just so much better diamond people think that they're so good and they just camp it out and literally 90 percent of the time the people that you die to just simply aren't that good and what my biggest issue is is i constantly am finding myself in 1v3 1v2 sit, uh, scenarios because my teammates are still making horrible decisions 
So it goes to show that you would think that people who would be in platinum would make smart decisions and actually want to communicate um, a push like I've mentioned in um, my one of my previous videos. Um, it just shows that platinum people just aren't good. People Just because you're in a high rank in um, Apex Legends does not make you that kind of skilled player. Um, I don't like to talk about myself. I don't like to hype myself up, but I am better than a lot of the people that I play against or that I play with or just people in general. And it makes me mad when I have to solo everything because of how just, just the decisions that people make in this game. And I need more people to play with. I had a guy comment on my video and try to tell me that this game is meant to play with friends only. I agree and I completely disagree. Okay? This game can be played solo. I soloed all of my ranked matches just about until I reached um, Platinum. I rarely play with people um, because just people don't like this game or they just choose... Um, they just don't want to play it or they've never played it before. And... I've said this before, this game, it it is not like any other Battle Royale you will ever play. It takes 100% pure skill to be good at this game, okay? I do not care what anybody says. Um, Fortnite, that requires a completely different set of skills, but this one, I think, requires more than Fortnite. Um, I'm coming to the end of my video, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and comment down below what you think about the ranked play in this game and what your rank is. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.